YouTubies, I'm going to start my uh, vlog today uh, doing something a little bit different and a lot of you guys want to know uh, more about my practice and more about my herbs and things that I've learned and um, just information basis and so what I'm going to do is uh, try to do uh, videos periodically on different subjects whether it be something that's harmful, harmful for you, whether it's something that is uh, really good for you, uh, different guidelines and just different things that are help uh, to uh, for you to live a better life and live longer and be healthy and prosperous and all that good stuff. So. Um, also, this kind of helps me out because I am learning all this information and, uh, and this allows me to try to be able to explain uh, the information I know and, you know, they always say that if you can teach somebody something, you know you know the information yourself. So, here we go. Um, the one I'm going to do today is about artificial sweeteners uh, just because it is highly, highly, highly dangerous and I feel that it is something that the FDA keeps under... Uh, under wraps and because they make a good bit of money off of it and a lot of other uh, people don't don't go around telling about it because Splenda is quite popular uh, for the people who aren't allowed to use uh, sugar and such such as diabetics um, in their diets and things like that but um, the, the one chemical that I want to talk to you about is aspartame now aspartame flat out you guys is poison uh, Splenda and NutraSweet and Equal and sweet and low are the most dangerous sweeteners that you can put into your body. Aspartame is poison. I don't know how many times I could say that. Um, you can research this anywhere you want. Um, internet, books, things like that. Uh, but to give you a little bit of information on it, I took some notes and um, I'm gonna just cite here for my notes and a couple things from my book that I have. Uh, let you know what's going on but aspartame it, it can be found in breakfast uh, coffees uh, anything instant uh, diets diet colas diet foods um, diet coke like I said Splenda all all is any any artificial sweeteners milk drinks laxatives soft drinks teas coffees wine coolers yogurt children's vitamins juice beverages laxative gum breath mints cereals sugar-free gelatins um, frozen desserts and it just goes on and on and on and on uh, you know aspartame is made up of these three things there's aspartic acid which makes up 40 percent of the aspartame then there's phenylalanine. I can't ever say that word it's so difficult um, that is 50 percent of the aspartame and then methanol which is a wood alcohol poison this makes up the last 10 percent now methanol poisoning those of you who uh who are familiar with that they those are the ones that cause headaches uh, weakness uh, memory lapses numbness uh, to your extremities pain can also be so associated with uh, causes of carpet tunnel um, nausea dizziness and uh, gastrointestinal disturbances such as intense gas uh, diarrhea constipation all that good stuff um, other things that result from aspartame birth defects brain cancer Diabetes, emotional disorders, epilepsy, and seizures. And why don't we hear about these things? Why don't they tell us? Well, a lot of it is just lack of awareness for the general population because a lot of people hear over the media or hear from different people that, oh wow, this is a new sweetener. It's better for you. Look at Splenda. This is not. This is this is better for you because it is sweetened with Splenda instead of sugar. Wrong. Awful for you. It says Splenda on it. Or aspartame on it you throw that shit in the garbage because it is poison um, also most people don't associate their symptoms uh, of long-term uh, of it being with from long-term use of, of taking aspartame now a lot of the things that come from aspartame um, are brain tumors like I said you can get uh, dizziness weight gain a lot of it uh, constipation memory loss joint pain hearing loss anxiety attacks slurred speech rashes depression Fatigue, being tired all the time, being irritable, uh, not being able to sleep, uh, vision problems, hearing loss, heart palpitations, breathing difficulties. Kind of sounds like the effects of taking too much ephedra, doesn't it? Um, let's see, aspartame accounts for 75% of adverse reactions to food additives reported to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA. Now, it amazes me on how 
all this ties in together because the people who um, are diabetic and who are not allowed to use sugar, doctors will let them know that um, they are not allowed to use any sort of sweetener whatsoever unless um, they use a artificial sweetener which contains aspartame but they're trying to tell them to shy away from that now and any of the you who who do have diabetes and you do go to the doctor and your doctor prescribes you or tells you certain things to put in your diet please make a video response or comment or message and let me know if they do tell you that aspartame is dangerous because I am curious to know um, what the um, outside doctor sources are letting people know who suffer from diabetes I personally don't um, have connections with anybody who who does so I can't ask them personally but you guys in the community um, getting involved in, in us all sharing information together I find that there's got to be at least somebody out there who suffers from some sort of um, type of diabetes and I just like to know what your doctor says and if they are um, informing you and how you're uh, how you're getting along with things now aspartame once it's in your body so long it basically turns into formaldehyde so um, just think about that if you are taking and um, you're trying to watch your uh, blood sugar level or your sugar intake and you are replacing your sugar with uh, aspartame intake, you're putting formaldehyde in your body. You're like preserving your body like a cadaver. It's disgusting. So alternative uses, if you are afraid or you um, drink unsweet tea and you want to put some sugar in it to make it sweet tea, this is exactly what you use and it is absolutely safe. Um, there are no side effects whatsoever, and you can get it at any sort of health store, food market. Y you can even buy it from me. Um, it's absolutely up to you. Um, make it yourself, whatever you guys want to do. But this herb, stevia, right here, is the sweetest um, herb out there, ever. Um, and you can get a stevia tincture, which it is made with um, gelatin, or, or I'm sorry, it's not gelatin, it's made out of glycerin instead of uh, alcohol and um, this you can put your sweet tea sweetens it like nothing else um, add it to your coffee add it to anything that you want to sweeten up and this is absolutely natural uh, your body can break it down um, and, and flush it out and it does not harm you at all very healthy um, very beneficial to your body and serves its purpose as a sweetener so that's that. Um, I could go on and on and on and on. I'm trying to think of if there's any um, specific things that I have missed um, without making this a 55 minute long video on aspartame. But just basically, to sum it up you guys, aspartame is poison. It is absolutely dangerous. Um, if you have a question and want to know something about any sort of information or, um, or, or research information, I have a whole bunch of it here. Uh, it's just way too much for me to be able to post up on a uh, on a vlog or a, a video so please feel free to message me and or comments and uh, ask questions and I will do my absolute best to uh, get you those answers and uh, spread the knowledge um, and, and, and do some research yourself don't always just take what everybody says um, and know that it, that that is absolute fact but um, like I said I will never uh, try to give out information that I do not feel is uh, valid or correct in some sort of way because I do not want anybody to be harmed. Um, I do not want to be responsible for harming anybody and therefore, like I said, I wouldn't give information that I just do not know about. But I know for a fact aspartame is awful for you. So start checking your labels. Do you know they say, um, read the labels of the things that you buy? It's really important and I know it's a pain to sit there and every product you get, turn it over and read all the facts, but when you're looking for something specific, you don't have to cut out every single thing out of your diet, but if you know that you're putting a poison in your body, just like just like the people who drink um, bottled water now instead of tap water. Now, tap water, yeah, it is bad for you, um, but it, I still drink it. There's certain things that um, I will drink bot too much bottled water for you is actually bad. And then there is um, even some bottled water companies who don't uh, go against certain regulations like they should. And there's arsenic and other things that are bad for your body. But you can do, um, you can moderate what you put in your body and what not, and what you know is going to make long-term health effects and what is not. Um, and basically, aspartame is responsible. Uh, for a lot of cancer-causing 
uh, properties and a lot of diabetes causing properties and over long term use if you are you know the same age as me younger or you know a little bit older than me just think every single day that you're drinking that diet coke and you're putting that in your body or your equal or your instant breakfast shake or anything like that, your chewing gum um, that, that is has aspartame in it, you are just putting that chemical in your body and the longer you do it, the more it accumulates and you're in for a long, rough road and you will not be able to live as long as I'm sure a lot of you do. I wanna live to be over 100. I plan on it. That's my goal. Um, so we'll see how things go. Let me know what's up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, aspartame's the devil. It's just bad. And um, you guys take care, and I will post another video soon. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.